video is about bacterial classification and in this video we're going to look at the medically relevant bacteria and organize them into groups which should help you study them better. We won't be going into any detail about these bacteria in this video. We're just going to organize them. We start first with the gram-positive bacteria and here you can see that they are divided into cocci and bacilli. Under the cocci, we have Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, Enterococcus, Peptostreptococcus, and Micrococcus. Under the bacilli, we have spore-forming and non-spore-forming. Under the spore-forming, we have Bacillus and Clostridium. Under the non-spore-forming, we have Carinibacterium, Erysipelothrix, Lactobacillus, Listeria, and Propionibacterium. And here we see the gram negatives. We can see that this group is quite large. We can still divide them into cocci and bacilli. Under the cocci, we have Neisseria, Moraxella, Acinetobacter, and Vilanella. Under the bacilli, we can divide them into enterics and non enterics. Under the enterics, we can further divide them into lactose fermenters, or lac positive, and lactose non fermenters, or lac negative there's also a group we can consider other. Under the lac-positive enterics, we have serratia, which is a slow fermenter, enterobacter, which is a fast fermenter, escherichia, which is a fast fermenter, klebsiella, a fast fermenter, and citrobacter, which is a slow fermenter. Under the lac-negatives, we have proteus, salmonella, shigella, and yersinia enterocolitica. Under the other enterics, we have Campylobacter, Helicobacter, Vibrio, Providencia, Morganella, Pantoea, and Hafnia. Under the gram-negative non-enterics, we can divide them into respiratory and zoonotics. Under the respiratory, we have Haemophilus, Bordetella, Legionella, and Pseudomonas. Under the zoonotics, we have Francisella, Brucella, Pasturella, Bartonella, Yersinia pestis, Burkholderia, Streptobacillus, and Spirillum. Gram-positive and gram-negatives are our biggest groups, but there are some other smaller groups that we need to consider. One of those groups include the anaerobes. We can divide the anaerobes into gram-positives and gram-negatives. The gram-positive anaerobes include Actinomyces, Clostridium, Peptostreptococcus, and Propionibacterium. The gram-negative anaerobes include Bacteroides, Fusobacterium, Prevotella, Porphyromonas, and Vilonella. The spirochetes include Borella, Leptospira, Treponema, and Brachyspira. The bacteria with no cell wall include Mycoplasma and Ureaplasma. Obligate intracellular bacteria include Chlamydia, Chlamydophila, Rickettsia, Coxiella, and some Mycobacterium species. The filamentous bacteria include Actinomyces and Nocardia. The purely acid-fast bacteria include Mycobacterium. And the Hasic group include Haemophilus, Aggregatibacter, which used to be called Actinobacillus, Cardiobacterium, Echinella corrodens, which is a particular species within the Echinella genus, and then Kingella. These bacteria in particular are oral normal flora that can cause endocarditis if they somehow manage to get into the blood and reach the heart valves. If you remember, under the gram-negative group, we had a smaller subgroup within the non-enterics called zoonotic bacteria. That group only considered the gram-negatives, but there are also gram-positives and spirochetes that also fall under the zoonotic bacteria group. So for completion, I've decided to add zoonotic bacteria, including the gram-positives and the spirochetes. The gram-positive zoonotic bacteria include Bacillus and Erysipelothrix. The spirochete zoonotic bacteria include Leptospira and Borrelia. The gram-negative zoonotic bacteria, again, include Francisella, Brucella, Pasturella, Bartonella, Yersinia, especially Yersinia pestis in this case, Burkholderia, Salmonella, and Spirillum. I hope this video helped you organize the bacteria in medical microbiology. 
Remember that in microbiology in general, if we don't organize the pathogens, we're going to have a hard time learning them. Hopefully this video helped. Check out PsychoMicro on these social media platforms and leave any suggestions or comments below if you feel so inclined. Thank you very much for watching and best of luck on your studies.